Yo, it was it was a war zone, man. I come outside, I'm seeing zombies. I feel like I was in uh, Walking Dead. I had this girl live across the street from me. I don't want to say her name, so we're gonna call her. We're gonna call her N. Gorgeous, beautiful. I'm talking about dime piece. She would be a dime piece in any era she came out. But I heard she was giving that top up for a couple of them purple tops. A few summers later, we saw her. She looked like a goddamn zombie, man. This crack era was serious. Made that leap. What made you not make that leap to the game but wanted to be around it? I got to backtrack because I actually linked up with one of my uncles, the superheroes, say 10 years ago. We was out in the Caribbean somewhere and talking, you know, we got to chatting on some street stuff because he still, <laughs> he, he bought that action as old as he is. Shout out to him. We was talking and then some things came up, you know, about me being outside. And he looked, he said, I knew it. He said, he said, hey, your cousin told me some stuff too. And it looked like it was actually a badge of honor for him that I was outside to the level that he heard. And he was just like, his eyes welled up. Like, like I told him I just you know, got my PhD and he was just like happy. So now I'm thinking about it. Had I jumped off the porch, so to speak, I think he'd have been excited about it. You know, he loved the action still. He loves the action. And I don't think that it's like Jordan. <laughs> Jordan still will play. At 60 years old, he'll still try to give you buckets. Then it's just something to learn about that. I was a spectator, man. So I, had to, I had to know that, yo, if I don't stay on this sidewalk, the streets are crazy. Everybody want to be in the streets, but some people belong on the sidewalk, and I stayed on the sidewalk. As I got older, I acquired the same things those guys had. So it was like, well, I got to go do that for now when I already got it, you know? So I was blessed enough to have a good mother and family around me that took care of me. So although, you know, the things that they was hustling for, I had. So it was like, do I really need to do it? You know, but to stay around it, some of them was the coolest dudes. They was cool as hell. So I guess it was that coolness and the fact that they reminded me of the rappers. And at the time, you know, I was falling in love with this thing called hip hop. It was just, it, it made sense. I just didn't have it to go out there. I'm like, eh, I don't need to. I'm good, but I enjoyed it.